Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on how to set up Twitter into your Cortex website. The first step in setting up Twitter is to come to this URL right here called apps.twitter.com. Once you've done that, you'll be able to, you'll probably be prompted to either register or log in. Go ahead and do that, and once you've done that, you'll see this create new app button. Simply click that button, come in here, and fill out details about your website. Go ahead and fill in the proper name, description, and the URL for your website. Come down here, hit the Yes I Agree button, and create your Twitter application. Once you've done that, you'll notice that there's a little tab right here called API Keys. Simply click that, and you can, these first two lines right here called the API Key and API Secret, you're going to want to copy and paste those into Notepad somewhere. The second thing you're going to want to do is click the Create My Access token. And like it says here, your application to access token has been successfully generated and it may take a moment for the changes you've made to reflect. So you can see it's not quite generated yet. So let's keep refreshing. There it goes. As you can see here, you'll want to take these first two lines and copy and paste those into your notepad. Now the other thing you're going to want to do here is click this modify app permissions on the access level and you're going to want to change it to read write and access direct messages and click the update settings button. Now once you've done that you want to head over to your Cortex admin area and click on the settings page which will bring me to this area right here. Go ahead and scroll down to the social media area and then copy your API key, Twitter API consumer key, API secret, API secret, access token, access token, token secret, token secret. Now once all four of those fields are filled in, hit the save button and there you go. Now Cortex will be set up with your Twitter website and a Twitter account and you can click um, <clears throat> and refresh the tickets within the help desk area to pull down your Twitter um, direct messages and also um, messages that people have sent your Twitter account and you can respond to them right into this right through this ticket area. That concludes the end of our tutorial. Thank you, and please don't ever hesitate to email us at support at cortexcommerce.com if you have any questions. Thanks.